What is up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about subliminal messages. Wow. Surely you've heard of subliminal messages or some examples or conspiracy theories. So what exactly are subliminal messages and ads? They're messages or sounds that aren't necessarily perceptible to you, but your brain apparently subconsciously hears them or sees them and influences you to think a certain way or buy something without you even knowing why. So here's a video from KFC where they're advertising the snacker big taste, big variety, small coin. The 99 cent snacker is you might have noticed it if you were paying attention but at the end of the commercial in the lettuce they hid a little one dollar bill and it's thought that they added that there so that your brain would see that little one dollar and associate kfc with low prices another example of this is cigarette companies used to advertise all over race cars shortly after tobacco ads were banned in the united states marlboro marlboro i don't know the fuck marlboro Marlboro, Marlboro, Marlboro. Anyways, they added a barcode to a Formula One race car that didn't really look like anything, but when that car would race, going very fast by the audience and the cameras, the barcode would kind of blur together and resemble their logo. Oh my god. Another one was the 2007 ARIA Awards, which is like the Australian Music Awards. They got in a little bit of trouble because people were noticing something a little funny about their transition slides. You probably noticed it, but they clearly hid ads for Olay all throughout the transitions. And here's a video of a guy who was just watching Iron Chef, and he seemed to notice that the screen kind of flashed red for a second. So he watched it frame by frame, and this is what he saw. I'm going through slow motion forward, frame by frame. This is at the end of Iron Chef America on the Food Network. I have Dish Network if that makes any difference, but I doubt it. So here we go. We're getting closer. And look at this, a McDonald's ad right in the middle for just one frame. So here, let's watch this. It's coming up right now. And just for one single frame, a McDonald's logo shows up. And most people probably wouldn't even notice that. But then after the show, they're probably thinking, damn, I mean, chicken sounds fucking good. And then here's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, a show for kids where the little thingy rolls and now you want to buy a DS. In October 2008, they showed an episode of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader with this hidden Nintendo ad. So obviously these big companies know or at least think that these work because surely they're dishing out a lot of money just for a single frame in the middle of a TV show. But another thing that advertisers know is that sex sells, brother. Have you ever seen an ad that was just like weirdly sexual? You're just like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just watching this cat food commercial and starting to sweat a little bit. Or when you grab some Skittles and you don't know why you're now wondering how many you could fit up your ass. And then there's Burger King that's not very subliminal at all. Oh, Silence of the Lambs, I love that movie. What a cool little butterfly with a skull on it. Wait a second, that's not a skull. That's naked chicks, ugh. Surely you've seen the ones where Disney uses this. Here's Peter Pan with his Captain Hook hanging out. This dude literally pitching a tent while his teddy gives you the most worried look. Dick Castle, Priest Boner, Lion King Butthole, Dirt Butthole, Dick Finger. You're probably wondering, why do Disney and Skittles want me to have sex so bad? But I don't think that's the case. When people see something sexual, subliminally or not, their brains will get excited and they'll start to associate those things with being exciting. And it'll make them just wanna like light some candles, turn on some smooth jazz and just slowly pop some sexy ass skittles in their mouths so advertisers are just putting these thoughts in our heads without us even knowing they mostly show us these when we're sitting down relaxing watching TV and not really paying attention to anything so is this legal hell yeah the only reason these aren't more common is because the FCC threatened to revoke any broadcasters license that use these techniques but that was in 1974 and it's obviously still happening so who knows what else is out there that we haven't caught but it's not just TV commercials maybe you're like me and your brain is just so powerful that it blocks all these messages away and you don't fall for those little schemes but how many of you guys have gone to Starbucks and one of the employees spells your name ridiculously wrong so you take a little pic of it and you put it on social media oh my god look Starbucks made noobsy no you made noobsy you fell for the oldest trick in the book now you just posted a free Starbucks ad for all your friends to see your quad long shot grande in a venti cup half calf double cup no sleeve salted caramel vanilla latte two pumps of vanilla substitute two pumps of white chocolate mocha for mocha substitute two pumps of hazelnut for toffee nut half whole milk half brevet no 
whipped cream, extra hot, extra foam, extra caramel drizzle, extra salt, add a scoop of vanilla. You think those star jerks don't know what they're doing? They're trying to write the wrong name, so that way they get free publicity from dummies like you. So throughout the 70s and 90s, there's a serial killer named BTK in Kansas. He murdered 10 people in Wichita, and the police were having a lot of trouble finding him. But what they knew is that he craved attention, especially from the media. So they went to the news for help. They had them air a story about him that they knew that he'd be watching, but they added a two-frame clip, hoping that that would make him turn himself in. So it sounds like there's a lot of faith in the fact that subliminal messages work. But subliminal messages can be especially scary when it's the government shoving their messages into our little brain holes. If you're old enough, you probably remember when TV wasn't always 24-7. It used to sign off at midnight every night playing the national anthem with a cute little video. Our national anthem. <laughs> You guys probably didn't see anything strange there, did ya? I didn't either. But if you watch this frame by frame, you can see nearly transparent text just kind of leading the way before the captions. But what do they say? Well, let's slow her down. Here it says, trust the government. And then it says, God is real, God is watching. Oh, but wait, it gets creepier. Here it says, rebellion will not be tolerated. The next one says, obey, consume, obey, consume. And then the creepiest one, it says, by Ultra, by Naomi. What is Ultra? What is Naomi? I'm glad I asked. This is most likely a reference to MK Ultra and MK Naomi. What are those? I'm glad I asked. Those were a couple highly classified, no no experience conducted by the US in the 50s and 60s. You've probably heard about MK Ultra, but it was a mind control experiment where they would offer prisoners shorter sentences if they would volunteer, or they would just basically kidnap prostitutes, homeless people, and even children using mind control techniques and psychological torture. They experimented with all kinds of different drugs, notably acid. There was one instance where a mental patient was given acid for 176 straight days while they sat behind a one-way mirror and watched. They wanted to discover a technique that would basically turn people into obedient robots, and they were also trying to find a truth serum that would help them in interrogations. But none of that was revealed to the public until like the 1970s. So it's pretty weird that they're subliminally telling us to agree with it before anyone even knew about it because this specific video was aired in the 1960s. Unless that was another thing they were testing. But maybe they just don't want us to worry about it because the next line just reads, Do not question government. But that's not all the government subliminal messages. Of course, there's like the Illuminati ones. But here's one. Look at this. It's a dollar. Wow. But wait, is that an owl? Why is it an owl? I don't know. But what it could mean is... And this might be a reach, but... Okay guys, I don't mean to get a little conspiracy on you, but I think it's about time we go a little sicko mode. So, there's a secret male-only organization in the United States called the Bohemians, and every July they meet up for two weeks in a very secure hidden forest in California, and they just do a lot of weird shit. But who's a part of it? The members of this organization include past and current US presidents, prominent CEOs, and just some of the most powerful men on earth. They just get trashed and dick around, and this has been a tradition since 1872. So just tons of history's most powerful men have all been meeting in this one spot and doing who knows what. No one really knows what goes on there, but President Richard Nixon admitted to being a guest a couple times, and he's quoted as saying that the Bohemian Grove was the gayest goddamn thing you could ever imagine. But one known thing about it is that the Manhattan Project was conceived there around World War II, which developed the first nuclear bomb. Eh. 
<laughs> There's only been a handful of outsiders that have ever managed to sneak in and take some pictures and videos. And it's kind of insane. Okay, I'm kind of going on a tangent, but the reason that this could be connected to the owl and the dollar bill is because in the grove, there's a giant owl statue that they appear to worship, and the grove is just filled with imagery of owls for some reason. So, maybe, I don't know. But before I wrap this up, I have one question to ask you. How good does Coke and popcorn sound right now? You might have noticed if you're a little sly, but throughout this whole video, I've been adding single frame shots that say, drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn. Why? Because in 1957, a guy attempted the first known use of subliminal messaging. At a movie theater, throughout the movie, he added one frame clips just like mine that said drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn. And he claimed it resulted in an 18.1% rise in popcorn sales and a 57.7% rise in Coke sales. So, did it work on you? Let me know in the comments. And let me know if you think subliminal message actually works or if it's just a big load of horse pucky. But thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Touch that little notification bell. Shout out of this week goes to Reggie's Jewel. If you want to be next week's shout out, make sure you subscribe, tweet me, leave a comment, let me know you want to be a shout out, and I'll see if I can make it happen. But I will see you guys next week. Peace.